Okay, I don't know if that was my bad or if that delivery dude was just having a bad day. I live in an apartment building and I never get a call when Amazon packages get delivered. They always just get like left out in our mailroom and we just have to like go out and get them. And so I got a call from a Seattle number on my phone and I just assumed it was spam. It even showed up like potential spam on my phone. So I ignored it. And I didn't like hear anything. I'm literally sitting out here. My front door is right there. And I don't hear anything. And then all of a sudden I just hear a big slam outside my door and I'm like, what the fuck? So I go over and I look through the people and the delivery man is just standing there looking super pissed off. And I like opened the door and then he just walked away. <sighs> like, okay, maybe that's my bad because I ignored the call, but I just assumed it was spam. So maybe that's on me. Maybe he was just having a bad day. I'm so sorry, delivery man, for making your day harder, especially delivering all these books. So I have another book haul. I have this box that just got dropped off that I haven't opened yet. This other box that got dropped off this morning that I did open only because I was like, I thought that they were all coming in one. I had ordered them at once. And I'm like, there's no way that 13 books are in this box here. And no, there aren't. So I did already open this one. I haven't opened this one yet. And then I have a few others that I've bought over the past few weeks that I've already unboxed and already unwrapped and have on my shelves, but that I haven't read yet. And I haven't shown you guys that I've bought yet. So I wanted to just do a mini little book haul here. I think I have a total of like 16 books. So let's let's chat about them. Watched my other unboxing or kind of like haul video that I have. I just posted a few weeks ago when I was getting ready to move and I was packing up my bookcases and I did every single book that I bought this year during quarantine because at the start of 2020, I had a fairly small book collection because I was mostly checking out books for my library to read. But then when COVID happened, and my library shut down. I started buying more books and I got a Kindle. So then I started reading more on there and then in turn purchasing more. So I, I have an ever growing book collection and I kind of just like to buy books that are my absolute favorites. However, a couple of these are ones that I haven't read yet, but I just wanted to buy because I either figured A, I would love them or B, I'm like, it didn't really make much sense to spend the money on the digital version when the paperback was not that much more expensive. The first book that I bought a few weeks ago is From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. I do already have A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire and I am uh, planning on buying A Crown of Gilded Bones. That comes out like next week, I think. So coming out very soon and I'm really excited about that one as well. Um, but I wanted to have, since I already had Flesh and Fire on paperback, I also wanted to have uh, the first one on paperback as well and I'm gonna be buying the third one on paperback. So I do wanna reread these two before the third one comes out because I feel like I missed some stuff on my first read. And especially after the ending on Flesh and Fire, I definitely feel like I need uh, a reread and a refresh before Gilded Bones, but I am super excited for it. The next book I bought was Sea of Ruin by Pam Godwin. So I, this is my first Pam Godwin paperback, but it is not my first Pam Godwin book. I read Dark Notes last year and it, it was one of my like favorite all time student teacher books. And I have that in my Amazon cart to buy at some point. I do own the Kindle, like the ebook version of it, which is why I've just hold, held off. But none of Pam Godwin's work is on Kindle Unlimited, but I loved her writing and I loved that book so much that I wanted to venture out and try some more. And Sea of Ruin just sounded super cool. It sounded very different. It's like a pirate romance. I guess it's about this girl who like escapes on sea. She ends up with one pirate, but then gets like kidnapped by another pirate and like it's a back and forth. I really don't even know, but I I was just in the mood for a pirate book. Like that sounded fun. Pirates, romance, fantasy, kind of like right up my alley. And since I already know that I like Pam Godwin's writing, I'm really excited to read this. Okay, and then last of the older books that I have bought, I just haven't shown yet, is All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. This is, is this the second Colleen Hoover book that I own? Because I already have It Ends Without Us. Ooh, can't speak. I already have It Ends With Us, and that is my all-time favorite Colleen Hoover book. Granted, I've only read four so far, so I'm really excited to read this one. I was actually on hold for this one from my library for months and then I finally got it and for some reason you couldn't read it with your Kindle. You had to read it like on your phone and I hate reading on my phone, it hurts my eyes and I do have blue eye glasses but I just, I hate 
reading on my phone. So I'm like, I'm not gonna even bother reading this, but I'm like, I still wanna read the stories. So I'm like, I figure I'll at least like this book. So I'm really excited. I've heard great things. Like people say that this is their all-time favorite Colleen Hoover book. So I'm really pumped to read this one. Okay, and then we have our boxes. So I'll show you what's already in the open box here. So this one had seven of the books. So I did decide to buy I've been sitting on these for forever. I'm like, should I buy them? Should I not? I was going back and forth and I'm like, maybe I'll just buy a few now and I'll just like slowly collect them. But I'm like, you're literally gonna buy them. Why not get it while you still have Prime? Cause I'm about to cancel my Prime. And I was like, you know what, you're right. So I got the entire uh, Bound by Blood Chronicles by Cora Riley. So we have Bound by Honor. This is book number one. It is Luca and Arya's book. I mean, the start of this entire series. Luca still remains supreme for me in terms of the Bound by Blood Chronicles. The Kamara Chronicles, we'll get into, but Luca still remains my main man. Even though this is not my favorite book in that series, Luca's still my favorite. So I have that one. These are not in order. Bound by Vengeance, this is book five. This is Kara and Growl's book. Um, this is by far my least favorite in the original Bound by Blood Chronicles, but I still do like it and I definitely need to have it because whenever I do rereads, I will still read this book. And I actually am looking forward on doing a reread of this one after reading the Kamora Chronicles and getting more background on Growl and the Falcones and Vegas just in general. I think it'll be better on a reread. And then let's see, Bound by Love, which is book six in the series. And this one is Arya and Luca's second book. And I like this one more than Bound by Honor. I actually think this might be like up there in my favorites of the whole series. I just really love this second look and Arya and Luca's relationship. And I know a lot of people got annoyed by Arya in this one, but personally, I I just like Arya and I like Luca and I think that their relationship dynamic is very interesting. And then we have Bound by Temptation. This is book four. This is Liliana and Romero's story. Um, I'd say this is at the, towards the bottom of my list in this series. I do like it. I don't love it. My favorite thing about it mostly is just like getting Gianna and Matteo and Aria and Luca adding like Lily and Romero into this dynamic. So I do like this one, but it's not my favorite of the sisters, that's for sure. Bound by Hatred, I think up there in my favorites. This is book three, Gianna and Matteo. I mean, those two are just explosive. And then Bound by the Past, this one is the last one. It's like book seven, and this is Dante and Valentina's last book. And, or like second book. I guess theirs must be in the other one. I do really like this one. However, uh, it's not my favorite. And then Twisted Emotions. This is book two in the Kimura Chronicles. So the rest of them are gonna be in the other box. Hopefully they're all in there since I haven't opened it and checked it out yet. Twisted Emotions, Nino and Kiara's story. I love this one. I don't really even know if I have a favorite in the Kimura Chronicles, but I do really love this one. I just love Nino. What a sweetheart, and I really like Kiara too. So, book two in the Kamara Chronicles. Can't find my scissors, so I'm literally gonna use a pointed paintbrush. Actually, that works pretty damn well. Okay, that actually worked really well, so I'm not mad at that. I don't know where my scissors is. I moved not that long ago, and I can't find like anything still. Okay, Bound by Duty. So this is book two in the Bound by Blood Chronicles. This is Dante and Valentina's first book. I really liked this one at the start of this series. Dante and Valentina are not my favorite couple, but I do really like this book. Let's see, we have Twisted Loyalties, which is book one in the Kimura Chronicles. This is Fabiano and Liana's story. I love Fabiano and actually this like might be my favorite in the Kimura Chronicles. I, there's just something about this book, something about Fabiano, like seeing him grow up in the other books and then seeing him in this one. I just really like, I think it's a great introduction to Vegas. And I was not sold on the Kimura Chronicles like before jumping into them. I'm like, I don't really know if I wanna go to Vegas. I just wanna spend all my time in New York with all these other characters that we know and love. But the Kimura Chronicles, I do like them more than Bob by Blood. I still love both series, but this just really kicked off the series so well and really got me just invested. And then we got Twisted Pride. This one is Remo and Serafina's book. Love Remo and Serafina. She, Remo has really met his match in Serafina and I just, oh. 
I loved this one. And also I really like this cover too. Normally I hate people on the cover, but actually I think this one's really pretty. Like, what is this? I don't want just like a shirtless dude. Like at least this has like some drama, some composition. I don't know, it looks better. And, okay, Twisted Cravings. This is the only one that I have not read yet. It is Adamo's book. And I just finished Savio's book the other night. So I'm really excited to read this. I haven't heard like the best things about this. However, where is it? Here's Twisted Hearts, which is book five. This is Savio's book. And I went into this not really that excited because everyone was like, Savio's book sucks. They were like, I hate it. It's awful, like he sucks. I was pleasantly surprised. I really actually liked this. I find Savio kind of endearing. Like, yes, he's an absolute asshole. And if he was a real life dude, I would never put up with any of his shit nor would I find anything that he says attractive, even though like he physically would be attractive. But for some reason in the book, it just kind of works for me. So I ended up really liking this. So I have really high hopes for Twisted Cravings just because even if other people are saying it's like not the best, that's what they also said about Savio's book. And I ended up being pleasantly surprised and I really like Adamo. So I'm really excited for this one. And the last one is, let's see, Twisted Bonds, which is book four. This is a second book of Nino and Kiara, which is a theme that Cora Riley does. She goes back and does another book with couples, which I like and I also don't like. So I liked this one because there was so much left with Nino and Kiara to be explored that I felt like it was very justified and it didn't just feel like a money grab of being like, you already like these characters, so let me just give you another 300 pages of them just like doing random stuff. Especially when couples already have a happily ever after, I don't necessarily want that screwed with. So this one, maybe I was like a little tentative of at first, but I did end up really loving it because I just felt like Nino and Kiara had so much more story to tell and it just felt earned. Yeah, so that is, that's all of them. That's my little unboxing. Now I own ugh, the entire... <laughs> Found by Blood and Gore Chronicles, which I'm so excited about. These make me just like genuinely so happy. I don't know where they're gonna go on my bookshelf, but I will figure that out. So the one that I don't have, I guess I am missing one, and it's Luca's book. And it's Bound by Honor, but told from his perspective. Like it's this book, but just from Luca's perspective. So I didn't even know that that existed until last night when I was on my Kindle and I got recommended to me. And I was like, what is this? How have I missed this? How have I never seen this on Goodreads or anyone talking about it that Luca has his own POV? So um, I'm currently reading that on my Kindle right now. So I don't know, I think at some point I'll probably end up buying the paperback version of that just to have like all of them. And I think at the anthology of the Bound by Blood Chronicles, I just did not really like that. And I honestly don't really feel the need to own that. I'll talk about that in my monthly wrap ups because I just read that like last week. So I'll talk about that then, but. That's all the books that I bought for today. I would like to say that I probably won't be buying any more books for a while, but I would say that that would probably be a lie. So we'll see. But anyways, thanks for watching. See ya.